Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. I am Sweet Ash Gamer, and today we are continuing on my Minecraft vanilla survival world. So, we are obviously in the snapshot, which means that we don't have any special mods or anything going on. We are just completely vanilla. And I'm kind of enjoying it, not gonna lie. Um, I've had a lot of fun decorating, and this entire area has taken so long, I decided to... Uh, plant the chorus fruit and they actually grew up so much and I think it's so cool uh, I went ahead and put some end rods at the top of some of them hoping maybe that would stop them from growing too tall or maybe there's a cap I don't really know but I wanted to light them up up there as well so you can see them whenever it's dark and it actually looks pretty cool so um, we are going to start work on something a little bit different today I have been working on this purple area a whole lot and honestly, the next thing I want to do in this area is build a huge library, but I don't have the leather for that. So before we do anything like that, we'll have to do like a cow farm and stuff. And that's not really something that I feel like doing right now. Right now, I feel like working on our little cherry area. That's right, our pink area, our beautiful cherry blossom, Japan inspired. Did you hear that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> our beautiful Japan inspired area. So let's go over there and let's look around and see what we should get started on. All right, so approaching this area over here, this is going to be the entrance like I had told you guys before and I want a huge Tori gate right here that's going to mark the entrance so we can come in and it's gonna be so beautiful. So I've used the frog lights to kind of mark areas for one of two things. The straight ones, like that one right there, mark an area in which we are going to build some sort of building. Now, these ones that are more fork-shaped are more so special builds like shrines, statues, uh, whatever else we decide to do. So I've picked a few nice areas for that, and I think that they're actually pretty good. And I really want to get started on this Tori gate. So I've grabbed up the materials that I think that I'm gonna need for it. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I do want to make sure that it's obviously not too close so you can get a good view of it. So I think I'm gonna push it back to about right here. I know there's supposed to be five blocks in between based off of the Tory gate that I have built. It's a little bit off here, but we can change that. So let's build this up a little. We're going to go up a few. One, two, three, four. Let's see how tall that is. Okay, we're going to have this side as well. One, two, three, four. That might need to go up more, but let's try this. That height feels pretty good. Maybe it needs to be a block or two taller. Okay, I've got that part done so far. Um, I believe these actually need to go up a couple more, so that is perfect because I was thinking that this is a little bit short, but it does go up a little bit higher, thankfully. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start throwing some of the final touches on the bottom part here. Um, and then we will just use our scaffolding to go back up and attempt to see if we can't finish this. So this part obviously needs to continue upwards a couple from here. So let's throw a couple more up this way. We're going to have uh, this go up right there in the middle. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Pretty sure it goes like this. And then this one will come out one more on either end. And then we need this. All right, let's see how that looks. Wow, it's looking a lot better already. I'm excited.
Oh, hey. I have officially finished the top of this. Ooh. Oh my gosh, and look how the sun is just like perfectly. Oh my gosh, I love that. That is amazing. Okay, so I feel like these bottom parts are a little... Like maybe they should have trapdoors as well. Yeah, that looks really nice. I'm going to do that all the way around. Um, I have some leaves on me, which I would like to incorporate into this. So we shall see how that works. I keep misplacing those. That's annoying me. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm thinking probably like here along the sides a little bit can have some leaves. Or maybe I'll just build a couple trees next to it. Maybe not add leaves to it at all. I was wanting to have something hanging here, but originally I was going to do bells. I just didn't like the way the yellow looked, so I kind of opted out of that. We have a loom here, and I have a few banners and dye. And I found a pattern that was interesting online, so I'm going to attempt to make it. So, let's see. We need to start with this. And then we do these, and then we do those. Alright, and then this, and then we need this, and then we add in those. Alright, let's see how this is going to look. Hopefully I did this correctly, that way it looks right. Look at that. Doesn't that look cool? Oh my gosh, it's perfect. I'm gonna put one on the other side as well. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think our Tory gate is completed and I absolutely love it. I'm debating whether or not I want to put some water around it. Because I know, I mean, you don't have to have water around Tory Gates, but I feel like a lot of the images I see of Tory Gates have, like, these beautiful, the beautiful water around it and stuff. And, like, Hell Girl, you ever seen Hell Girl? Maybe not, but, like, that Tory Gate is beautiful. I absolutely love the anime Hell Girl, and that is kind of where I got the inspiration for wanting to build a Tory Gate. So, yeah, we did that. <laughs> Uh, I hope you guys like it. If you guys have any recommendations for any changes that need to be done to it, let me know. Um, I'm thinking that the top probably needs some light added to it. That way it glows a little bit more. But I don't think that I have any more of my frog lights on me. So we can't really worry about that just yet. Um, I think it looks alright for now though. Maybe we could add end rods up there. And maybe that would be fine. Let's just grab a couple of these. Sorry. I we can grab a couple of you guys and, and test this theory. There we go. I put a couple up at the top and it actually worked. It glows pretty well. Um, I'm kind of wondering how this would look if we did that. I just feel like it adds a little extra light. Maybe I should put those on the outside instead, but I like the way it's lighting it up a little bit more. It was a little bit dark. I love it. I think it looks great now. I'm really excited. It's beautiful! Alright, so now that I've got the Tory Gate done, I was thinking that I would walk you around this area and show you a little bit of my ideas. So, this is this for now. I did add on a couple of the cherry leaves. I thought it looked nice to have it you know, flowing down a little bit, not to add too much to cover up any of the design or anything, but I think it turned out pretty well. I'm still thinking about the water thing, and if I do the water thing, I might have it to where you get in a boat right here, and you have to, like, boat through, and maybe, like, get out at some point, and another reason I'm thinking of the water and doing it with water is that I've realized something that I think is interesting, and that is if you do, um... Hold on a second, let me show you. If you go like this, you just do that with some stairs or anything that can be waterlogged, and you waterlog them like this, then you can take these and put them on top, and they will not die. 
and I was really, really excited to learn that. So I feel like, I'm just waiting for it to die, waiting for me to be wrong. I feel like we could really, really use a lot of coral in this way, and I'm actually super excited about it. Unfortunately, powder doesn't come in slabs or anything that can be waterlogged, so we will have to figure out a solution for that. Maybe the floor will have to... Maybe it will have to be cherry wood. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I actually really like the way that that looks. And it solves our issue, really, of not being able to have a lot of floral things around here, like flowers and stuff on the ground, because we, uh, you know, we're using this powder. So I guess that changes things a little bit. We don't have to use dirt now in order to plant pretty flower-looking things. So... I'm excited about that aspect. Let's go ahead and walk in here and I'm gonna show you guys around. So I'm not exactly sure where the pathway from here is going to go. I do know I'm gonna have several shrines in this area, which should be interesting. We might have a path that goes like down through there or something that's actually not pathed out at all. I started a path over this way. We've got a path that leads to our cat cafe and I figured this could be like the ending to this path here. And we'll just put like a whole bunch of uh, trees or something here to block that off so you can't see it because I want this to be very directional I don't want it to be where you can just like wander in any direction I want you to be able to only go certain ways so there's going to be another building here uh, this is like a dead end here we might just put something visibly that you can see uh, and then we've got this path that just like walks around the outskirts of the biome here we'll have another little building there We'll of course add in like things to look at and I don't want to be able to see any of that ice out there so that's going to be gone. We'll have something else right here. We just got this long path that I'm actually really really enjoying having mapped out so I can kind of see you know where I should be building and where spots you know could be filled in with certain things but we also have this here. There's a little pond here that I didn't get rid of. I thought that was cool so I just built a little bridge over it. So that's nice and we come up through here the entire place is outlined in frog lights so i thought that was really cool you know have a little bit of light but also like you know know where our biome is and everything so another building here we've got kind of like a cute little forest sort of thing going on the outskirts all around our biome here oh hi i'm sorry i didn't mean to scare you that little guy's been just chilling over here i'm fine with it <laughs> he's cute he can stay uh, but yeah, I've just been, you know, kind of planting all these trees, super, super tall. I've built up with dirt and planted the saplings. That way we got some really tall trees through here. I was going to make them all custom, but I was like, oh my gosh, I need like a hundred trees. There's no way I can make a hundred custom trees. So I just went ahead and did it that way. And it turned out pretty well. If I'm going to add like branches or something more to it, I will. I did do the fence stuff to make it look a little bit better and added some frog lights to the top so it was lit up a little bit more at nighttime. but I think it's actually looking pretty cool. I'm excited to get started on the beginning of this pathway here and I am very very happy about the way our Tory gate turned out so I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. If you did hit that thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!